All right, what's up, YouTube? It is Shane once again back with another One Piece Shadow Cruise video, and as you can see, I am on the Cavendish um, ambush quest. Um, so I was doing the Sabo Ray boss just because I want to farm up, you know, because like I said, it's my JP account, and uh, I um, came back to JP not that long ago in my JP account, and just trying to build it back up. And I was fighting Sabo, and I got ambushed by Cavendish. No, I tried this ambush before the other day. I thought I could beat it. I actually got really close to beating him, but he ended up killing me. Um, now to have Luffy Law, I was like, hmm, let me like, since he uh, ambushed me again, I was like, I'm gonna really try it this time. Um, when you swap between Luffy Law and your um, little fucking um, orb bind actually disappears, which is actually really fucking cool. And uh, for Luffy Law, I actually went um, attack cotton candy and recovery cotton candy simply because of Law's um, healing and Law's healing actually saved me a couple times just because I gave him uh, just that little bit of a um, little bit more um, recovery cotton candy his healing actually saved me a couple times um, last stage I was actually stalling up a little bit so I can get the um, orbine off of me for all my characters and the um, the lapping hit for like 11,000 and uh, I had like 11,000, um, 100 or something. And then like his recovery saved my ass. And um, I got up to like 12,000 HP. He hit me for like 11,000. And um, as you see, my HP is now down on 2,000. Um, I healed up because since I had, um, since I have Lyle and I did all my attack stuff, the recovery actually um, healed me back up. So now you can see I'm on 2,000 HP. But um. Yeah, let's get um, this show on the fucking road. I actually, I, I actually believe I can beat him this time. Last time I wasn't able to beat him, but I actually believe I can beat him this time with this team. This team is really powerful, so I, I wholeheartedly, but wholeheartedly believe I can beat him. I almost fucked up. I was about to, I was about to do my attack. I was like, hold up, I gotta do my specials. I'm almost, I almost fucked up. I would've been 100% dead. <laughs> <clears throat> Alright, let's go. Three, two, one. I couldn't even beat this on global, by the way. But three, two, one, let's go. I tried, I hit him with the good because I want to switch over to my Luffy, my Luffy Law and do the attack with them. Let's see how much damage we would um, actually do at the end, but we actually did 4 million right there, and that shit was delicious. <sighs> we actually beat it. I couldn't even beat this on global. Think about that for a second. I couldn't even beat this on global. My account on global is superior to my JP account 100%. And like I said, since my account is um, still relatively new, um, I'm still getting characters and stuff. When characters drop, I actually still get the... Um, they still pop up as if they're new because they are new to me. Boom, Cavendish. Now, every time he ambushes me, I wanna beat his ass because I can. Now, um, he's actually pretty good. He actually he gives like an attack boost for slashers and stuff like that. He's actually pretty good. Um, I don't really have any slashers on JP though. Besides Inuadashi and like Luffy Law, um, that's pretty much it. I have some other slicers, but that's pretty much it for the most um, popular and stronger ones. I couldn't even beat this on global. Think about that for a second. My account on global is superior, 100% superior to my JP account. Whoa! Oh, oh. I wouldn't say superior now to have Luffy Law and fucking Gear 4 Luffy and all these beast ass characters on um, JP, but I'd say my JP account is probably superior to my, my global just because of the amount of legends I have now and like just what's going on now. Man, but there we go, that's the Cavendish ambush. I did not record the entire stage because, like I said, I had to stall off. I actually, I wasn't sure if I was going to beat it, and then I had to stall off for 20 fucking turns to get the fucking um, orb bind off of me and shit. So you guys wouldn't have wanted to see that. I can guarantee you 
you guys did not want to sit there and watch me stall for 20 turns like you did on my Blackbeard video and I stalled for 25 turns but surprisingly that actually the video is actually only three minutes it was like well that part was like that section of the video was like three to four minutes and the whole entire video was like 25 minutes because I was doing other stuff in the video too but yeah I, you guys do not want to just sit there and watch me stall for 20 turns but hey there's the Cavendish ambush um, I'm gonna farm him up I'm gonna keep farming Sabo um, yeah, I was farming up Sabo because I want to take Inuadashi off the team, actually. This is my team right now. This is my other team that I was using the other day, but this is... Well, earlier, this is the team I was using, but this is the team I'm using now. Um, yeah, I want to take Inuadashi off the team simply because he gives the tap timing boost, but he cuts your HP. And say you end up missing an attack, right? You end up missing attack. I have Marco there because the defensive buff he gives but say you end up missing an attack right with your um your characters are you accidentally attacking the wrong order or something like that or just you just miss your attack and since he cuts your hp and brings it down so low even with the marco um defense you, you, will, you could still get obliterated because he's like i said if you have well no marco's defense is actually fucking like really good actually so 90 um Percent is actually still really fucking good, so you can actually might survive. But if they do like a special, you're gonna fucking die. But say he brings you down to like one HP, right? Like 10, 20 HP, and you even if you have Marco's thing active, you're gonna die. If he brings you down to 100 HP, you activates Marco's special, you're, you're gonna die because simply because he cut your HP. Now Sabo, he gives you a tap timing boost, but he does not cut your HP, which is really fucking good. I'm pretty sure anyway she's tap telling me how much tap telling me does he give? 80? Is it 80 times? 80 times tap telling I think Sabo gives like what 55? 60? I don't know. Let's see. He gives 55. Anyway, she gives 80. So anyway, she's tap telling is obviously superior to Sabo's because Sabo is free to play and anyway, she's a legend. It's obviously superior, but the problem with me is that he cuts HP. But if you guys don't know, when he goes six plus, look at this shit. His tap timing is delicious. Look at this. 130 times tap timing damage. That is by far, that's probably the best in the entire game. I don't even know if Katakuri even does that much tap timing. Let me see. He does like 30 times the HP lost, right? Or no, 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 30 times. The damage you do, I don't care, I can't remember what he does, but he gives 30 times, even Inu, like Inu Odyssey does like 130, that's really fucking crazy, but anyways, it has been Zhang with the game, um, yeah, that was my, um, Cavendish ambush, and, uh, yeah, um, it's your boy Zhang, I'm out, it's Cavendish ambush, there's Cavendish, and all his glory, and I'm out, peace.